Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Cigar Guys. Now, who the hell stole my cigars, Whoa. huh? Huh? Who stole? Relax, 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 Was it you, relax, Alex, relax, huh? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh-huh. I, saw him, I saw him do it. Huh? I wouldn't do it on this very special episode that is catered towards you. I wouldn't do it. I yeah. wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. I. The man in the furry hats. Uh, uh, uh. Go kill my driver. All right, now it's just me and Jared <laughs> uh, for the podcast. Uh, you are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. This is that, is, is that w- gas in there? It smells like farts. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I filled I mean, it. Really I, didn't, bad. I didn't. I didn't have uh, airsoft gas, so I filled it with propane. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, oh man, God, that's funny. <laughs> Jared, who are you supposed to be on this fine Halloween episode? I'm actually. Uh, I wanted to. I want to play a role in a movie called Hitman. Hitman Three before it comes out, 2026. <laughs> You oh, look okay. like you're supposed to be a driver for Alex's wedding. It's a continuation. What do we got here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa what is whoa, this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Is this, this? a cigar? Uh... <laughs> All right. Zach is going to be smoking his very own cigar. <laughs> um, it's a little big. Dang. Did you make this? Did you make yeah. this? Yeah. No, yeah. it was good. <laughs> Thank you so here much. <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, let's see, let's see if I can show it. It is oh, Zach's yeah. birthday today. Oh no, no. But the AC, the AC. Oh, it's okay. No, it's, it's not the fan. It's, it's the fan. fan. It's no, fan. it's good. It's we good. got it. We got it. All right. Look at the label. This is amazing. I don't even have my Jared. Take a picture of this. I don't have my phone. I actually can't. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Oh, oh, Bree's got, right, got, go. got it. Bree's got it. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. So it's Zach's birthday weekend, guys, birthday podcast episode, and I instructed my now wife to make a cake for him. Oh, we got plates. Let me see your phone. I could use this phone. All right. So that's what Zach is smoking, the Zachary Nikolai special. All right. I got blow out these candles before. before. All right. right, Let me make a wish. Oh my god, it came true. Oh what? my god. We're on an episode of the cigar, guys. There oh we go. Oh my god. There we go. Imagine that. All right, Mark, what are you supposed to be? A raccoon. True, true. I'm a cowboy. What are you supposed to be? I'm a uh a sheriff. Like uh you look like um <sighs> somehow Reno nine one one. You look like a Mountie, yeah. It's it's from Reno nine one one. I'm a sheriff. Or as uh, Spirit Halloween likes to call it, uh, Captain Short Pants or something like that. It's something stupid. <laughs> sheriff Short Pants. <laughs> All right, fair enough. They lost their uh, exclusive rights at Reno 911. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Jared, where are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be a driver. A taxi? No. He's to- not a taxi. He's a taxi driver. No, guys, I'm, I'm come on. just a driver. He hasn't. He's not. He hasn't been down that low. He's a town car driver. Okay. All right. I only drive one car though, so I'm just a driver. The, the gloves are for the luggages that he has to carry out of his car. And cigars. Hmm. I cannot see you guys all. It's pretty black. This actually. is amazing. <laughs> I mean, you can take the glasses off at least. I think we still get the idea. Oh, right, Okay. Well, everyone kept guessing. I was like, no one's getting it. You guys want to eat cake? I'm good on my end, but you guys enjoy. All right. Uh yeah, all right. We're gonna eat cake, and then smoke cigars. Yeah, what what's what's cigars are we smoking, Mark? Why don't you explain that while I cut this? <laughs> I don't know what you're smoking, but I'm smoking. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, mean can't I, share. I see you got a box over there. Or something. He, he can't share his own cigars. I bought a uh, Tatuai Monster Smash. This is very cool, limited edition, only for this Halloween. It's got two sides. 
It's got the cigar names top to bottom. I'm smoking the creature right now. Um, very cool, very cool little box. Huh. And for the price of one seventy five, it's a pretty good deal. For what, ten cigars? Fourteen. Fourteen cigars? Yeah, that's pretty good. I thought I got twenty percent off there though. Yeah, it's twenty percent off. So I really got him for one fifty. He's got to inform them of the right price. He's not going to tell them the discount Actually, price. Actually, Jared, you have one because you were driving us around a lot. What do you want? Oh, thank you. I'll remember that when uh, you asked me to fix your air suspension. Luckily, I don't have that problem. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. I could be a dark one, Jared. Oh, th- thank you so much. So you're getting you're getting a uh, Jason. You're getting a. Uh, oh, thank you, Jackal. Jackal. Yeah. And is that is that so, right. is that someone I should know? I spent my whole month cigar allowance on this. <laughs> well, listen, okay. I'm taking the gloves Jared off. Jared already said he's going to buy another box. Maybe he'll be generous enough to return yeah, the favor. I don't want him to give me one, though, because I gave him that because he does so much stuff for us. But maybe he'll replace mine as a kind gesture. That is or the same thing. Or we could kill Mark and take, and the, whole box. take the whole box. No. Oh. It's okay. I'll smoke a basin with arrow. While I eat my cake. Which one are you smoking, Mark? I'm smoking the creature. Okay. So, part of the theme of this episode, besides Halloween, besides Zach's birthday, Halloween's on the 31st, Zach's birthday's on the 1st, November 2nd is the Day of the Dead. So, we're going to talk about, essentially... Some of the cigars you can smoke on Halloween slash Day of the Dead this very spooky weekend. November 1st is All Saints Day. Just want to point that out. There you go. Tell yeah. us about that. Um, it's a holiday to recognize all the saints, mm. which is the day I was born. There you go. Coincidence? I don't know. What do you think about this cigar so far, Mark? It's okay. It's okay. I think for the price point I got it, it's good. Um, Didn't you just say you spent like a whole year's allowance or something on it? Whole month. A oh. whole month. I got a pretty stingy uh, cigar allowance. Well, now everyone knows what you make. Or is that your cigar allowance? It's my cigar allowance. Oh, okay. I thought you said you spent a whole month's salary. No, no, no. My cigar allowance. I, I got to uh, budget myself. Yeah, that's fair. This cake is pretty good, too. We got a nice chocolate cake, obviously. A nice Maduro cigar with Zach's initials on it. I've probably spent a year's salary on base of cigars. So, guys, please go buy it. <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For Zach's birthday, instead of buying him a gift, you can go ahead and buy yourself some base of cigars, and that actually helps Zach. On his birthday. Hey, maybe on his we'll, birthday weekend. Maybe we'll throw out a discount code for Zach's birthday. You know what? Since you guys are such loyal followers, loyal subscribers, and you're so loyal to Zach this weekend, use discount code LOYAL15 to get 15% off. And if you're part of our email list, you'll get an even special offer. So make sure to go on our website and join that. Uh, we'll be saying that out hmm. sometime this week. Honestly, so are they double dipping? That cake looks a little really bit. good. Do you want a bite? No, no. I'm, uh, I'm on a ketogenic diet. Keto? Yeah. Okay. I've never heard the full term. It's a full term. There you go. I've noticed I fart a lot less. Do you also shit a lot less? Speaking of full yes, terms. Actually, yeah, I do. Speaking of what? What? Speaking of full terms. What, what do you mean full terms? Donald Trump. He's going to get another full term. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I sure hope so. Jared, demolish that cake. What do you think of that cake? Speaking of full terms, Bree's, Bree's about to be full term after their wedding uh, night. All right. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> slow down. Slow down. <laughs> We're waiting a full term before we go full term, okay? <laughs> That's funny. I like that. What do you think of the cake, Jared? That's great. <laughs> 
Yeah, we just been wait, 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 wait. we've just been showing Jared chowing down on that cake for the last five minutes. Jared doesn't eat sweets. No, he, uh, he doesn't. Yeah, you're right. I guess I eat cake though. Is it because it's a special occasion? Or? What kind of cake? Did you have cake at the wedding? No, I didn't. So you didn't eat cake at my wedding. I didn't eat cake either. But you honest. ate cake at actually none of you ate cake. But you're eating cake. It's because he chooses. I, I was because cake. because your wife made it. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? You can't say anything bad about it now. Well, mm. first you're texting his wife behind his back, and yeah. now you're only eating her cake. Well, on camera, he told me to text Bree some and a cigar shaped cake at that. What you cigars? What did you call it earlier? Cigars. Huh? What did you call it earlier? It looked like a what? <laughs> well, it looks like um a big piece of bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That was really good, actually. I think you wanted to say penis, though, but... That's what you said. I didn't want you to say that. You just... That's what you said it looked like. Are you satisfied now? I, I guess. I guess. Nah, he likes penis. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You were satisfied by penis. You just said it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to have uh, myself... Alex, Alex is dressed up as a Brokeback Mountain. That is true. <laughs> and I'm going to down this entire... Handle that's, that's that's a one point seven five. <laughs> the camera makes it look smaller. <laughs> it really looks like this. That thing is huge. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. You both are well wearing like outdoorsy hats. You sat a little closer, a little closer to each other. <laughs> it's true. Mark does want to go back to one camera. So, <laughs> plus, hold up. Alex is more like the you know the country guy. You know, has a farm or whatever. I'm more of like the guy living in the mountains, making moonshine on the run. So, you know, can you run after? Never mind. It's more like, <laughs> more like a jog. Wait, I'm going to take one more bite of cake and then we get lit up. Is this is this uh, scotch good? It's Kirkland Signature. It's not bad, honestly. I've, I've heard Kirkland brand um, whiskey is pretty good. They have a 16 year that we were drinking. For dinner, I don't know if you had any. I like the shoes too. It was the sixteen year sherry oh. cast was actually really good. I don't know if you want to have some of that for your birthday. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Oh, this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I, th- I thought you it's said something there, else. You know. I gotta, I gotta take a little bit for my birthday. Just like a true sheriff, I'm gonna be drinking out of the bottle. Absolutely. And I'm going to be smoking a base of Maduro. God damn. Jeez, heavy yeah, hand, huh? Careful with that pour there. Heavy bottle, heavy hand. Uh, All right. Cool. Anyway, Zach, go ahead. Halloween special, birthday special, Day of the Dead special. We all have specials. That's it. Cool. So, <laughs> post wedding special. It's actually a lot going on. This is a very busy week. Yeah, it has. You know, last week was busy. Yeah, week. I've had a busy like month. Anyone hung over after the wedding? No, I don't think. Yeah, I felt fine. Yeah, I was just super dehydrated, but yeah, I, I felt yeah, I felt good. I wanted to keep going out. I was trying to get people to <laughs> stay later. <laughs> Even after a flagler. Yeah. Huh. I don't remember that. Who'd you who'd you want to stay out with? I, I said let's stay out, and then um, we know who said, "Oh yeah, I want to stay out." And I was like, "This is not gonna help my case." <laughs> <laughs> it was a great night. I mean, we were there all day, obviously, because we were all in the wedding. Yeah, uh, th- that was a little rough. Explain yourself. I thought it went by fast. <clears throat> well, you know. Had to get haircuts, decorate the tables. Oh yeah, that was all that cool stuff. I didn't do. Uh, I was gonna say you didn't decorate the tables. N- no, but just the idea of it was stressing me out. Having to hear that someone needed to decorate the tables. Yeah, just like I had to find that stand for that mirror. You know, that was all work. You know, I had to ask like one person twice. You know what I mean? I'm surprised they didn't decorate it. Well, yeah, I mean. Is what it is. I'm not gonna lie, the wedding went great and I loved it and everything, but I will say that the uh the venue is probably the least organized one I've been to. I would agree. Yeah. Because the coordinator lady didn't do anything. 
Yeah. I don't yeah, I don't know what I don't know what she was doing. Because remember the rehearsal they said like, okay, you can have a lady like explain everything to you guys and like getting you guys together and stuff. Well, I think her sole job she said that she was gonna be there to coordinate the actual ceremony. Mm. That's what she was talking about. As far as the rest of the wedding, I think it was uh not clear. The real question is who finished all that Chick fil A that Mark bought? We gave it to Lewis. Oh, okay, cool. Shout out to Lewis, by the way. Who was on a podcast? He's our barber, best barber in Central Florida by far. Luis Hernandez at Men's Groom Room. So go check them out if you're in the area. Yeah, find him on Booksy. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy, really good guy. Yeah, but I mean, we had a great time. We're still missing your shoes. Still missing my shoes. So I don't know. Now I got I bought a new pair. So. Hopefully, I'll have two if it turns up somewhere. Hopefully. Yeah. My shoe guy's still trying to see if he can make them bigger so I could fit in them. But <laughs> if he can't, then I'll give them back. I appreciate that. What shoe size are you? He's like, actually your shoe size. Which is actually Jared's shoe size. Which is crazy. I got these new black shoes. <laughs> oh, I thought you were be like, oh, yeah, never mind. I haven't seen them. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I got to plan to see that. I whoa, got whoa, whoa, hold on. That's crazy. Everyone has the same shoe size at this table except for me. Yeah. All I, of us are normal except for you. I don't know my own shoe size, but they happen to fit Alex. And I know my shoe size, and I know that it matches Jared's. Yeah, but you could be like plus or minus off half an inch. Yeah, but if and you, not notice. So I don't know if you know this, but if you look inside the um, like the lip of your shoe, it actually shows you the shoe size. Yo, yeah, yeah, Alex, I know how it works. I'm saying I could be a 10, 10, 10 and a half, you know, so either So you're one. saying you don't even know your own shoe size. It varies in all types of brands and shoes that I have. That is true. I'm aware of that. Like my cowboy boots are size 11. So you actually wear bigger size boots than you do shoes. Well, the uh, size 10 and a half wide. Because, you know, your boots, you're supposed to have a little... Little wiggle room in there, and when I put on a ten and a half, there's no like it was, it was fucking like in there. For instance, your wedding shoes that were a little tight, but they were also the same size, weren't they? Those were narrow, so yeah, uh, so, I mean, it wasn't see, it wasn't a length see, there issue. Are, there are differences. I'm not arguing with you. There's, I feel like you're arguing right now. Do they hurt your feet? Um, <clears throat> so I thought I was gonna have to change after the ceremony. And I kind of forgot about it. So I think about halfway through the reception, I was like, screw it. I got to go confiscate Jared's shoes, which I did. So yeah. I, I knew this was going to be a problem all along. So I bought two pairs of the exact same shoes and gave one to Alex. So, what about Sam? What did Sam wear? My, my other shoes. Your, so here's what happened. Your dress shoes? No, I brought, I brought him or I brought him the black sneakers. shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, so here's oh, what happened. Okay. Sam's wearing Alex's shoes. Alex wearing my <clears> shoes. <throat> And then Alex also lost his shoes. Okay, I got it. And then Jared well, that's took... Who was wearing Jared's shoes? I bought two pairs of shoes because I knew Alex had this problem. Who was wearing Alex's shoes? Sam. And Sam was wearing no shoes? No, Sam was wearing Alex's shoes. Alex, shoes. Alex was wearing my shoes. I bought two pairs of shoes. I knew this was going to happen. So you never changed shoes? <clears throat> exactly. I like that. Nice. Nice. And Jared was very proactive. Did you throw out those shoes after Alex wore them? What? I don't know. Was just... I hope he didn't throw my. No, he gave his, my shoes back. Uh, <laughs> he asked if you, if you tossed them, threw out the shoes. After I have I not. Them. I will admit, have not worn them since. <laughs> you, you should clean them. I already got athlete's foot. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I, said I don't you. know. Is that true? I said to you. No. 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 Oh, I, so, I okay. Okay. okay no, so you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. I don't want them sense. But I'm gonna get them clean for sure. He might have gave you athlete's foot. Jerry gave me athlete's foot. Yeah. So. He had athlete's foot, still does. Now I have it. Yeah. I mean, compared to all the other stuff we've shared. Wait, like, so then why do I have athlete's foot? <laughs> 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 that I can't answer you. But um, well, all I'm saying is you guys could fit into my shoes. I can't fit into your shoes. Maybe so like who stepped foot in my shoe. 
maybe your shoes look like someone else's and someone put them on and said, oh, these are like three inches too big. And then uh, took them off. I get that a lot. It would have to be Jared, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> it would have to be Jared, though, because Jared gave me athlete's foot that day. So it couldn't have been me. I don't know if Mark suffers from the same disease. So nope. it had to have been Jared. No. Nah, Jared, I get it. You got some big I, shoes to I fill, but uh, you just can't fill them. It's fine. It's I don't itch on my feet, I can tell you that. Women like a respectable size shoe. Do you guys have any uh, Halloween plans? Not you, but I do. <laughs> do we have do some it? Halloween plans. What are you doing? I'm working at night. I work all the time. Okay. Um, I got a Halloween party on Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That you might be going to? Uh, no, nah, I got to do a lot of homework. No. That's all right. I don't have Halloween plans currently, but I'm going to be in Portugal during Halloween. Mm. So do they we'll celebrate Halloween? I feel like it's a international holiday it's not like a u.s thing i think it's more of a u.s thing do they do like the day of the dead stuff portugal i don't know i know it's like a mexican holiday yeah you should see if there's any like parades or anything that'd be pretty cool i mean maybe i will that's just the whole i I, I land there on halloween so yeah yeah just go there dressed up just in case be prepared be proactive yeah you should definitely go dressed up i'm going to the airport like this and then vlog it that's a cool bolo tie. When would you get that? Like three years ago. Yeah, I think it's fresh. <coughs> <coughs> I bought it for one of our uh, cowboy. Is that for the Co Wetzel concert? No, I bought it for uh, one of the parties we did. Uh, Remember, you dressed up oh, like a gay yeah. redneck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. a gay redneck, just a. Uh, but why do you say yes? Yeah, I just always say yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a yeah, no. Thing. It's like yeah, like you know, like yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah, I get it. No, yeah. <laughs> you get it. You're gay redneck. It's fine. No, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you voted for Kamala Harris. It's okay. Yeah, because I want to see change. <laughs> I th- isn't that, wasn't returning, that, returning, wasn't, wasn't that Obama saying? Turning the page. It's, uh, not, you, it's, not, it's not change. <laughs> it's just next chapter. You know, yeah, you, could, literally. you could turn a page in the book. And, and it'd still be it, the same book. And it, <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Or it could be the end of the book. I, I am concerned that <laughs> you guys didn't take pictures of a completed ballots before he turned in, just to verify. Mark did. I did. Alex is the only one that didn't, actually. I put on my Snapchat. And yeah, was, actually, that's kind of suspect. He was wearing a blue shirt. Were you voted? No, not yet. I went undercover as a white dude for Harris. And my wife and her lover went and voted for Trump. <laughs> Not undercover. I was say, how many people were hitting on your wife? <laughs> um, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they, they saw the blue and they were like, prime time, baby. <laughs> like, that's suspicious. Yeah, I didn't have an actual Democrat shirt. So I found the most blue shirt I had. Not this one, a different one. And um, it was actually funny because when I was going to check in, the guy was like reading my shirt because it had like a, it was that um shirt from one of the river the rapids that we did oh yeah, yeah that yeah. I did so he, he like read the shirt just to make sure like you know I wasn't actually a white dude for Harris. Did, uh, would you guys vote on that one cent tax? On what the Come one on. cent tax? Yeah, whatever. I didn't vote yet, but I'd vote yes on it. I put no. Mm. Which one was that? It's like a one cent sales tax, right? It's uh, it's already there. What? Just to renew it till 2030. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, that's why, yeah. Oh, I thought it was adding another cent. I put no. <laughs> it's for like schools or something, right? It's just for our county. <laughs> yeah, it's just for some Uninformed of our county. voters. Look, look, I'm more for less taxes, okay? Whether it be a penny, a nickel, or a dime, all right? I want less taxes. Can we talk about this censorship that we've been getting on Facebook? Sure, Zach. I think you're the most educated on this subject matter, so I'm going to go ahead and let you share it. So we'll let the comments aside on this, but... A woman puts up a huge sign at an elementary school 
saying, are you thinking of divorce? Are you thinking of breaking up? You know, do you want to keep your children? Something along those lines. And, you know, it was like, contact me for, you know, support, I guess, basically. So she posts, she's a, an official sponsor for an elementary school, posts this on all of the forms in our city. And I write a comment saying, I don't think we should uh, instow the idea of divorce in children, you know, and then and I gave examples and I gave an actual article that was written about her on how she falsely claimed another place was, you know, uh, um, another place was doing something. So I gave all the support and started gaining some traction. She blocked me. Can't see any of her posts anymore. So then Alex. I have an update for you. Go ahead. Alex says the same thing. Actually quotes it. Puts it on his thing. She blocks him. No. So oh, what happened block was. Him. Oh, it didn't get it's, approved. Yeah, That's it's right. in a yeah. group. And um, it's in like a Facebook group. And the Facebook group, whoever was the admin, uh, did not allow the post to be approved. But post it on next door. It would go fine on that thing. We should. Yeah, so we should. I, so since my post didn't get approved, I quoted it to my public profile. And I was talking to them before you got here. She sent me a friend request and then messaged me and said, please feel free to contact me directly. No. What do you mean? No. No, oh, I'm no. I'm saying yeah. like, yeah, no. Why? Why should I contact her directly? She shouldn't exactly. even have thought about putting that at an elementary school. Like there's a time and a place for that. Well, too, you know? like why they allow it? Yeah, too, that, like, that, I know. That's another thing. We already said what we were thinking. Yeah. But yeah. what else is there? I think she's just saying like, oh, like she's trying to not have it out there. She's like, oh, you should bring it to me directly and talk to me directly. But it's public information anyways. Yeah, but she's also doing a bad market, right? Because a lot of parents get divorces after the kids <clears throat> graduate high school. So, like, if she wanted to do it at a school, like a high school, would be a better. Mark is concerned about her marketing <laughs> campaign. Not sure. And no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you're going to do it, like, do it smart. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And I mean, since that post, we've heard things that, you know, that the PTA, the person who runs that PTA at that elementary school is all about the check, doesn't care what it is, you know. In that case, why aren't we advertising cigars there? You know I think you should. <clears throat> it's just morally wrong, you know. Yeah, I, I doubt you paid that much for that. I doubt it too. She but paid like two thousand dollars. But still, to a school that to a PTA that's literally all about raising money. I, I didn't even know you could do that for elementary schools, like sponsor them like that. Yeah, they have like fences and stuff because uh, they do like events and stuff over there. They need money. They they, they find ways. Yeah, imagine a kid going, "Mom, what's a divorce? Are you and Dad gonna break up? You know, you know, it's a little, a little weird. No, I hundred percent agree. Like you're essentially. <clears throat> promoting or you're normalizing the conversation to a child yeah which you know i think i mean my personal belief you know is that we should instill the mindset of like a healthy family yeah instead of success. right away yeah like a successful family <clears throat> so whatever her business is her whole idea is essentially like trying to make the transition or make the process as smooth as possible to limit like the court's involvement, I think, is what I got from her advertisement. Yeah. But to advertise it there is probably not the best. You can go... I, I think it might be a good business for people that are going through that. But to promote it to elementary school age children, yeah. I agree, is not good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Her business model, you know, I mean, it seemed to be pretty decent. It's oh, just, I thought she was like a therapist or something. That's what she is. Oh, okay. But I think she also provides. But for her, yeah, for her to provide yeah. help to these people <clears throat> is not a bad thing. Because, you know, unfortunately, couples do go through this. Yeah, I agree. And yeah. they have kids and they need help. Yeah, yeah. like her job isn't the bad thing, but no. just her placement on yeah. advertising. Bad, yeah. it's, it's bad in two senses, right? Because it's bad in like the kids and it's bad for her. Ad campaign because well, I'm not joking, I'm not that <laughs> <laughs> but to like I mean to your point though, kind of to your point, it's also floating the idea to like the parents too, or saying like you know what like I'm gonna call that lady. But you know it, like maybe 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 they're thinking about it and it's like I don't know. You see that and then it's like it's almost like okay maybe it is okay. Like maybe it's not that big of a deal. And see if she put just like behavioral or not be uh 
family therapist or whatever the fuck they're called. If she would have just put that without putting divorce and all that stuff on there, it would have been okay. Yeah, yeah, it would have been fine, you know, because there's a big move for, you know, mental health awareness and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They're teaching that, you know, in schools. That would have been fine. And to Mark's point, like, adults would read that one way and said, okay, it's okay to contact this number where children would said, hey, it's someone to call for something else, but not, do you, you know, it's not alleging, are you going to break up? Are you going to do this? It's not putting the idea in their head, which is what Zach was saying initially. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just don't think, you know, from in elementary school, they should have that idea, you know, or they should they should have anything in the school system that tells them about the idea that, hey, mommy and daddy might break up, you know, because what's going to happen is they're going to see the word divorce or break up, find out what it is. You know, they know it's about family. Uh, then next thing you know, they get into one argument and right away you're going to go and be like, are you guys going to get a divorce, you know, to their parents and. It's like, whoa, where'd you even learn that? Yeah. And then, oh, there's a banner at school. You could call a lady and help out. Yeah. You know, and kids are really honest. So, like, that's probably exactly how it would go. I didn't even know the divorce was a thing in elementary school. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't know what I it was. I just thought they were locked in for life. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, though, yeah. Like, you know, I mean, we all grew up in, you know, very, like, good structure in our homes. Yeah. Not everyone does, but all four of us, we have, all our parents are still married. So yeah. we never really had to go through that stuff. And unfortunately, a lot of kids do. Yeah. But yeah, the point is like, uh, if it's not an issue currently, why bring it up? And why like bring yeah. that topic to discussion for a kid that might not even have to worry about that? Yeah. Yeah. I just think there's different avenues that she could have taken uh, to advertise to the parents that yeah. she wanted to. Yeah, you know like, what I mean? You know, yeah, this all media. falls back, I think, to a very strong point that's pretty dominant in the Republican Party is uh, let kids be kids. You know what I mean? Like, we don't got to push all these ideas on them. That's true. Yeah. I, I think anyone pro-family, you know. That seems to be a one-party thing now. Yeah, sadly. But yeah, anyone pro-family. The family values, let kids be kids. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's a movement to, like, normalize separation with couples and kids and letting kids do whatever they want <sighs> yeah there's been a long-standing theory in like the conspiracy world of like they want to like reduce the human population and i kind of think this all ties together in that if i'm being honest i think so I, I think it's i think it's become so obvious you can't even like you can't argue against it yeah. anymore you can't like, unsee it because, like, you can't, like, they can't go around and, like, and do, a, like, a mass killing, you know? So, what are they going to do? They're going to make nobody like each other. They're gonna make well, every- they promote same-sex marriage and transgenderism and or, or abortion or all these things that don't promote family. They promote, essentially, like, the, sep- the, the separation of family or the idea of not having kids. Not having kids. Yeah. Not starting a family. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. So, I mean, it, it's, again, it's a conspiracy. It's just uh, the truth that hasn't been realized yet. Well, it's, yeah. not, it's not even really a conspiracy. Like, uh, since the 1960s, the birth rate has been declining. Yeah. At least in the United States, like, by a lot. This year has been, uh, I think I think it's the biggest drop ever. So... And you know a lot of a lot of has to do with like the um, economic climate. There's a lot of factors, but yeah, because typically you see more babies when you know the economy is real good. That's true. So yeah. starting in a month or two, and it starts becoming really good, you can help fix that birth rate problem, Mark. Well, I, you got to wait. You got to wait a couple of years to make sure that it's really going. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wait four years for the economy to go down again. <laughs> <laughs> not, hey, not if my boy uh, Vance runs. That's true. Let us know in the comments who you think is going to have a kid first, myself or Mark. I think it's definitely Alex <laughs> or me. I might come in for the for the good sneak around, you know, or Jared or Jared. He's gonna be. Like, Wait, hey. Sorry, I'm stuck in that word sneak around. <laughs> <laughs> Does he be like, hey guys, I got uh cherry pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's her real name? I'm not sure yet. 
<laughs> she told me it was like Amanda, but they usually have like a fake real name. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the cigar guys are getting censored. Okay. Are you going to respond to that? No. I, I, I don't. I, yeah, but I, I don't even want to have the conversation with her. Like, she's not going to do anything. She's going to leave it there. Yeah, 100%. There's no point in arguing with yeah. uh, a, a woman of her nature. I'm going to comment back. Why couldn't she just keep divorce off there, you know? Yeah. She could even just put arguing, question mark. I know, yeah. I mean... <clears throat> the disagreements, question mark, arguing, question mark? Contact me. Like alluding to it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That, yeah, that, I mean... That would have been better. I probably still wouldn't have liked it, but I definitely don't like the sign that's up now. Yeah, we should call a school and complain. <clears throat> yeah, my kids are in jeopardy. I think I'll put it on next door and be like, hey, call so-and-so elementary. You should. You should put it yeah. on next door. Next door, it'll go rampant. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put all the articles and everything. You got all those moms on there, so. All the moms that want to see it. Exactly. Exactly. Make sure your location's in Heathrow. <laughs> My location's actually Alex's house. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> we essentially run next door campaigns from the studio's location. We basically, well, too, our first campaign ever was to let everyone know that Giovanni's, old Giovanni's, the Superior Giovanni's was still open during a hurricane. That's true. And that was great. That blew up. Yeah. <laughs> that blew up. Some hate comments. I can't believe you're making people work in these dangerous weathers. Like, it's not even raining right now. It's real out. And it was literally <laughs> all of us. It was like yeah. all the family. That just means that the video is so convincing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that super staged video of a, you know, upside down uh, umbrella. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Actually, too, I don't think this was on the next door, but we also promoted Giovanni's via Don Miller. Where he was promoting their oh, the dressing? salad dressing. I think it did go on next door. It may have. Yeah. I don't recall. That was years ago. We got to get back in the groove. Save our community. <clears throat> When's a mayor election? That's it. We'll get back I can't, I can't run it. No, I can't next year. Why? I mean, that's Hana. Oh, dang. Yeah. I'm going to run in that's Hana, though. So we have Deltona. We have our second in line. Unless I never change my address. Mark's gonna run as make Deltona Lake Mary. <laughs> actually, actually, Deltona. Is, there's a big push to make it like things a lot nicer there. Oh, there, there you, you go. go. Yeah. Make it Lake Mary. That's it. Yeah. You talk about how you came from Lake Mary, moved to Deltona because you want to build it up. Well, that's, exactly. The thing about Deltona is it wouldn't be too bad if it had more like infrastructure, but right now it's just a lot of houses. Mm. And what they need to do is stop building houses and start building more like plazas and like restaurants and things like that. Because essentially it's a big residential area and you have your grocery stores or whatever. But besides that, if you want to go for either entertainment or like stuff outside of necessity, you have to drive to another city. Yeah, you got to drive to like uh, like downtown the barrier. So like it's not a destination spot. Town. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, how many people from Deland come to Lake Mary yeah, all the time? Like, all, the all, the time. Time. all the time. That's and like literally all they do. There in Sanford, that's it. Yeah, but yeah, they need to really focus on like building. And you know what? I think that's a problem there because they're they're still building like new houses and stuff. And I'm like, if I if I was the mayor of Deltona, I'd tell, I'd say right now, no more houses. You know, like if you're a developer, you could buy houses, fix them up. You know what I mean? Like, go ahead, buy a whole block. You know what I mean? But right now we need to focus on like the land we have is, you know, building infrastructure. I agree. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Like you never hear about anyone from like Simone County driving to Volusia to buy something. It's always, you know, Altamont Mall. It used to be the Sanford Mall back in the day, but COVID kind of killed that. Yeah, yeah. They, shopping like, plazas are still a thing though. It's huge here. Shopping centers are big in yeah. Florida, which is weird though, if you think about it, because like shopping centers are bigger than malls now. But shopping centers are outside, malls are <laughs> indoor. But it makes sense for the, the pause owners because you don't have to spend money on AC. Well, I, yep. yeah, that, and I, yeah. I think it's just because it's quicker. Like, if I want to go to, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't gotta walk a shoe carnival, let's just say, 
I don't have to find parking at a mall, walk all the way inside, go down an escalator, go to that shoe carnival. Yeah. yeah just yeah. walk straight in the store. I will say too, like, it's very rare that I will go to a mall if I'm looking for one thing. Yeah, it's true. A yeah. mall is more like, going for a let's go things. shopping and look around and see what we can find. But if, yeah, if I'm going to buy shoes, I don't want to go park in the mall and then walk into the mall, find shoe carnival or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then leave. You want to go straight to the source. So I agree with that. Yeah. It's good for, I guess malls are good for like price shopping too. Like if you're going to buy like a Movado or like some kind of, you know, small watch like that, <clears throat> like you go around and price shop the different, yeah. different stores. But you're going with the intention of going to multiple places. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But yeah, seriously, they need to build, they need to build some more stuff. Um, if I was them, I would freaking donate the land to some developer and tell them this is commercial land only. Yeah, because as far as Volusia County goes, like the land is kind of up and coming, but they're not quite there yet. Outside of that, you're going to Daytona or New Smyrna for either entertainment or, you know, yeah. stuff outside of necessity. The, I know, I know, uh, the Barry's building more stuff too. Hmm. Yeah, even like downtown. What the land is, what Stetson's in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So even downtown to land, I think the problem they have is like they they have old buildings that they don't want to do anything with, right? They don't want to they don't want to fix them up. They want because yeah, well, they want them to still look old. I, like I agree, feel. but if you look at like Sanford, Sanford yeah. has that oldness factor. Yeah, but yeah, it, it feels but, nicer now. But yeah, yeah, but they they keep it maintained. You can you can still have like a lot of uh, some of these cities have. Uh, a law or regulations where they have to keep the buildings looking like historic buildings, but they still renovate them and make sure that they're newer, more up to current codes and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you don't have to make like a complete modern looking yeah. building. It can still look historic. Yeah. Well, like Sanford. For working to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even that new building that they built, you know, where the Fox Hill is and down the street, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's built to look like, you know, it was built there you know 50 100 years ago yeah. however long yeah yeah I, all I, it takes is some brick i will say the only thing i don't like about sanford is that like they have their nice little pockets of areas but like like a two minute walk outside of that gets pretty bad still yeah but i, I think they're slowly fixing that up yeah but it's like do i want to buy this brand new house right next to this yeah i agree yeah yeah you, know, you got some crackheads hanging out over there it's a lot better <laughs> than five years ago though <laughs> i'm serious it's though. true yeah yeah. Like compared to five years ago, it's way better. And the thing about Deltona is, and a ten lot years of, ago, it's even better than that. I think Del- Deltona right now has got a lot of people that lived in like Lake Mary and Oviedo their whole life that can't really afford a Lake Mary house anymore. So a lot of them are moving over there. Yeah, and I think like it, it's still a good area to like raise a family <coughs> and stuff like that because it's very residential. It's yeah. basically like one big neighborhood. But yeah, I mean, it's, in terms of like building the city, so to say. There's not much going on there. Yeah, at all. However, so, I should run for mayor in Daytona. We do have Cigar Hustler out there. Cigar Hustler's cool. I might start going there more often. I think like you're going to. Five minutes away from my. Yeah. But too, even everyone that goes there, a lot of them are local there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm we sure. have a few people that come from here that visit them because they know them and they're nice people. I mean, Corona's still only 15 minutes away from me, so. No, I know, yeah, but I was saying, like, uh, most of the people that go there are going to be local. Uh-huh. And there's a few that come from out of town because they like the people there, they know them, they're good friends with them. But if Deltona itself was built up to attract more people from outside of the city, Cigar Hustler could benefit from it. All the businesses that could benefit from it. I'll tell you what, besides Cigar Hustler, I do drive there occasionally for Bagel King because the one out there is like super good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Yeah. I should run for mayor. Though. I'm going to run for mayor. You heard it here first, folks. Mayor Deltona. How long do you have to live there, though, before you can run for mayor? Well, I think, actually, I think it's immediate. I don't think it matters. Yeah. I think it's resident yeah. only. Yeah, because we uh, talked about this, I think, last election. Two years ago. Yeah, yeah. You got to be a natural born resident. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The guy that ran the moved from Georgia and it was like, oh, this is like a good place to run for mayor. Yeah. Did he have a failed campaign in Georgia also? 
I probably I, I, think I don't remember Georgia before that was Ohio. So we we realized that he was just like a, one of those transplants or transients or whatever what you want to call it. Yeah, there, there's there's a there's a name for it, and it's slipping my mind. You could ask ChatGPT, but it's uh, people who go to towns just to become mayor. Um, shoot, but yeah, they like they try to pick a small town that's like developing or whatever, and then they're like they they their whole campaign runs off of uh the whole campaign runs off of um like what well, i was yep. making a joke because you were saying that and i just looked at mark oh. uh, <laughs> mark's already moving there without the idea of running for mayor anyway that's a lie <laughs> no, i'm just joking but but the different well their whole campaign runs off of like hey your mayor that you've had for 30 years is shitty vote for me for some actual change i wonder what yeah. i wonder if he's still here he is. Okay. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Because his daughter goes to Amped. Still, mm. currently? Yeah. Yeah. Zach likes to keep Taz on people. Yeah. See, the thing um, about, the thing yeah. about like, Mary is that, like, it's already running so good. Well, know? everyone loves our mayor. Yeah. It's just, you you know? Know? there's still development going on. Like, there's just a lot going on. Like, Mary is like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing a great job as an incumbent, there's almost no reason to take the risk and get someone new. Yeah. Literally, I think the only thing people complain about in Lake Mary is the traffic. Yeah, they got to do something about that. Well, I don't yeah, know what you can do about it, though. Nothing, because there's traffic everywhere. You go to Oviedo, there's traffic. You go to Winter Springs, there's traffic. Like, it's it's not it's not a city problem. It's an Orlando problem. Like, if they know? made a bridge going over Reinhardt so you don't have to stop, I'd probably yeah, free it yeah, up. Yeah, but like... What roads would be connected by this bridge? Lake Mary Boulevard. Lake Mary Boulevard going over Reinhardt. But, they, I mean, they are doing stuff about the traffic, like that new intersection that they're building. Oh, right up here? Yeah. yeah like, yeah. that's going to be a three-turn a three turn lane So, where would go the right. bridge yeah. from Lake Mary Boulevard connect to? It goes over Greenwood. To land. And Reinhardt, in the, like, the heart of Lake Mary. Goes over that and just continues on Reinhardt. Because that's where a lot of the track... Or continues on Lake Mary Boulevard. Oh, uh, okay. That's okay. where a lot of the Kind of like the is. 1792 bridge. So, you're saying a bridge that goes over Lake Mary Boulevard, essentially. No, no it goes bri- over... Greenwood and Reinhardt. Green, yeah. Lake, the, the bridge would be on Lake Mary Boulevard. Okay. And it would just go up and over Reinhardt. Okay. Yeah, that, that's where a lot of the traffic is. Okay. And they're, they're kind of trying to do that with the exit on I-4. They're changing the where it yeah. comes out to. But that... The problem is, is that that like that like Emma Park gets so backed up already. It's like, well, yeah. So originally, uh, there's actually plans for this, but they haven't gone through with it yet. I think they can't buy a piece of property. But um, they were supposed to tear down that Longhorn on Lake Emma, and the I four exit was supposed to get off there. Yeah, they're it's, still they're still doing that. Um, yeah, they're just taking some of their parking. Yeah, which is good for that building. Yeah. I yeah. bet you Top Golf had a lot to do with that campaigning for that. Yeah. But do you know like married population doubles during business hours? I think it like triples. Yeah, it's something crazy. Yeah. I think there's like five thousand residents and then there's twenty thousand people who work here. It's like something insane. La- la- yeah, last time I checked, it was like somewhere near those numbers. Give or take a few thousand. But Seven o'clock. All right. Oh, let's take a little bit of time. Good man. All right. So back to the topic that we were kind of talking about. Oh, Halloween. Day of the Dead cigars. Yeah. Halloween cigars. Let's talk a little bit more about this box that Mark purchased for all of us. I'm just kidding. Uh, the Monster Mash by Tatawahe. It's got. 14 cigars. 14 cigars. Do you know what all the names of them? I, I know you gave him, you said you gave him the Jason. How do you know? Does it say it somewhere? Yeah. So it goes top to bottom, left to right. So. Oh, I see. So I gave him, um, I took the creature. Okay. And I gave Jared Jason. I gave Zach Jackal. Okay. And then what I got left is Frank, Drac. I'm assuming it's Dracula. Face. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, Wolf, Mummy. Um, hide. What is that supposed to be? Uh, hide is like a 
like a creature. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Kruger, Michael, Chuck. I'm guessing for Chucky. Um, Tiff. Yeah, it's a uh, Tiffany, my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bride makes sense. Um, and yeah, Kruger. Pretty cool though. They have cool little pumpkins on there. I oh, we can show the camera. Yep. And then the front of the box has like blood splatters on it. Well, it didn't come that way, right? Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Such a pretty cool box. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. And then I, I brought out, Jared had these tucked away in his humidor and he really, really wanted to try them and they ended up being bad. This is the Sweet Jane Cigarillos, but a lot of the cigars from the Deadwood line all kind of look the same. Where they have this like skull uh, theme going on here, so these are appropriate for more of the Day of the Dead kind of theme. Yeah, they, they do have a Day of the Dead cigar. They do. Yeah, I know you were saying something about that. Yeah, I don't know if they sold them at Corona or not. Yeah, they do. They do. Okay. Yeah. So those are com- some of the uh, recommendations that we have for you if you want to stay on theme with this weekend. And uh, oh, um, Filthy Hooligan has one. Oh, do they? Yeah. I saw um it's it's a pretty cool band actually. It's got like two little ghosts on it. It's pretty pretty fun oh, looking band. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you really want to scare everyone, you slowly pull out an acid cigar ah! from your jacket. <laughs> and <laughs> then <laughs> instead of breaking it in half, you cut it. Yeah. And then you light it. <sighs> I just got chills. <clears throat> and then you smoke it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to sleep tonight if you relax over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, you're not. You're working tonight. After. Fair. Yeah. Mark's in Texas at like 9 a.m. Corona's open. <laughs> they also have another cigar called, uh, that's why, um, I think it's another monster and it comes in a coffin box. <sighs> Were you trying to get his band? Yeah, careful with that. <laughs> YouTube will shut us down. We might have to pour that out, actually. It's an airsoft gun. To be fair, they have, like, gun channels on YouTube, so. True. <clears throat> she can't post on TikTok. I used right to now. have an airsoft gun channel. What happened to that guy? Uh, fuck, what was his name? The Russian guy? Big big gun guy, yeah. Um. Oh, my God. What was his name? I mean, Demolition Ranch is big gun guy, but you're no. thinking of uh, uh, the... Um, He's like a younger dude, I think. Yeah, yeah. Didn't this he like, get like arrested or something? Uh, this is like... Yeah. Oh, maybe. This is like OG YouTube. Yeah. What fuck? What was his name? I don't know. You remember like, it? You know AK who we're talking something? about? I know who you're talking about. I don't remember his name. Yeah. So like, I was thinking Demolition Ranch, but that's not the same guy. No, different guy. Yeah. Well, that's a cool name for a gun channel. Yeah. There's a lot of great channels on there that educate people about firearm safety. Yeah. And such. SBF. SBF Russia. SBF yes, Russia. It is. Yeah, that's it is. <laughs> yeah, that's OG YouTube right there. Yeah. yeah. What do you get arrested? I think he had some illegal guns or something. I think it was a tank situation. I think you're right. Yeah. A tank? Yeah. He yeah. had a tank and that led to some issues. <laughs> fucking sick. Speaking I'm of which, pretty we sure you have to buy a turret for our for our, uh, our tank. Uh, a uh, a foam pellet turret, maybe a Nerf <laughs> Nerf turret. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be sick. I think FPS Russia was actually in Russia though. So like, no, he's in America. Yeah, he's, 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 right? yeah, no, he's, okay. he's like in okay. Michigan yeah. or something. Fair enough. But yeah, we're gonna get. I think it was Russian. I think that's why. Yeah, he he was Russian, but. He put on like a thick Russian accent. Like he didn't really have that accent. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think he had a tank that was like actually bored out to shoot and he shot something. And then, you know, I think they took him in after that. The fortunate. We'll yeah. Make sure he fix up Jared's Cybertruck with a turret. A really nice turret. All right. Mark's giving us a cue. I'm heading out of here. Have a good day. All right. Go ahead. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you.
I think we're ready to cut it too. Okay, sure. Uh. All right, guys. We hope you had a uh, uh, a fun Halloween, a safe Halloween. Uh, look out for that discount code for my birthday. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Happy Halloween. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. This thing's pretty warm. What's warm, Mark? It's hot. What's warm now? You wore it. No, it's like a lot warmer. Is this real, real raccoon? Yeah, I killed it myself with my tank. I should buy one of these for when I go to Europe and it's cold. Actually, I'm going to bring that to Europe. Nice. Ah, raccoon! Ah!